everybody else, Sarah Paul, Pete here at uh, Shaker Bush Country. I uh, haven't done a video for a while, so that rainy day, I thought I'd do one here kind of quick. Uh, we're going to cover a few things. Season wrap up. Most of Wisconsin is wrapping up. Well, maybe somebody way up north is still making a little syrup, but for the most part, season's over with. I think if you stirred the whole state up, you'd end up with an average years. People that tapped early did probably better than people that tapped late uh, for the most part. But it was kind of buried all over. Uh, so probably an average year in, Kadot, in Wisconsin. We had an average year here in Kadot. Out east, like northern Vermont, up in Maine, Quebec, they're having a really, really good year. Uh, they're calling for barrels. And that's a sign there's a lot of syrup when they're searching the country for barrels. So, you know, they're going to put syrup back in the reserve this year because they're making way more syrup than they made last year. So there's lots of syrup out there. So we'll see how much gets put in reserve this year and how much stays there and that. So that'll be interesting. Getting some calls about cloudy syrup. If your syrup's not buddy, not stringy, none of that. It's just a little cloudy. You can filter that out. But generally, when you get towards the end of the year, if your syrup is kind of funky, got an off flavor, or it's cloudy or stringy, uh, buddy, I mean, everybody's got a different term for it. Um, you've went too far. And that it's it's time to quit. The, you know, even though the calendar is pretty early yet, uh, the trees are pretty far along. I was looking this morning on the way in, and some of the trees pretty much got leaves on them. So uh, just quit boiling. You'll be okay on that end of it. Uh, photo contest. You still got time in April to send in photos of your sugaring operation. Uh, they'll take them to the end of the month, and you get a gift certificate for whoever they pick as the winner. So keep sending them in. They got a bunch, but keep sending them. It's always fun. And they'll post them and that on there. They'll put up a, a link to where to send them. Um, so do that. Uh, early order equipment sales are going to come early this year. We'll, we're starting ours here uh, on Monday. So if you need equipment, need pricing, give us a call. Um, we got some sales going on. I wouldn't wait a long time on ordering any equipment you're going to need. The 7 million taps they released in Quebec last year is going to start coming online in this year. So in the past 6, 8, 10 months, they've been issuing the quotas. The guys that are, know who's got them now know how many they can add. So a good portion of those taps will be put in this year. So it means tubing, ROs, evaporators, anything in the sugar house. Everybody's expanding uh, that got a quota. So that's going to eat a lot of production space at the factories this year. So if you wait to this fall, you, you got a 50-50 chance of getting what you need. I'll say I can save some production spots, but it's really tough because they want to fill them all and then they're busy throughout the year so don't wait real long to to get quotes and pricing and and that so the companies will be busy so covering that i got a list here so i don't get anything uh my insert that's a good subject everybody's talking about sir pricing some guys got it out, some we haven't yet. Uh, we're still figuring out how the crop is going to end up, you know, around the maple world. So we'll see. We'll be out within a week or so with pricing. And once we have pricing out, you can make an appointment with Dawn and she'll schedule you to bring it in. Buy in syrup. We're going to buy syrup like we always did. You bring syrup to the door and we'll grade it, weigh it while you're here. And we'll write you a check and you can take it and go home. So we never buy syrup without writing you a check when you deliver it to our door. Uh, it's got to be in food grade containers, you know, drums, filtered, hot pack, with samples. You know, it's the same stuff we do every year. 
Uh, if you make more than five thousand dollars worth of syrup, you need to collect a license to have on file uh, for you. So that hasn't changed any. There's some new guys playing in the syrup world now. Uh, they want to do it a little different. They want you to bring barrels, and they're going to pump your barrels and give you your barrels back to you, and you can defer payment and receive two cents per month until they pay you. That's one way of doing it. Those companies are fairly new. They're gonna be, you know, they haven't been around a long time, um, four, five, six years, you know, so, and a lot of the money is gonna come from out of state. So just know what you're getting there. When they pump your barrels, I watched their video, they did talk about cleaning barrels. So they're gonna bring your barrel in, they're gonna put this big old pump in it, suck the syrup out of it, pump it in a tote, give you a barrel back. If they leave syrup in your barrel, when they lay it, weigh the barrel back, so your barrel comes in, it weighs 640 pounds, and the tear in the barrel is 35, but when they weigh it across the scale, it's 37. That's a little bit of syrup that's left in the barrel. So at 220 a pound, that's 440 cents if there's two pounds in there. So if you're getting two cents a month, how long does it take you to get 440 cents back? So you're going to have to take your barrels home. You're going to have to drain them, clean them, deal with them. What we do and other uh, companies in Wisconsin do is steel barrels I don't get back. Everybody knows that. Stainless barrels you give back. So we clean your barrels, drain them, and they're ready to go uh, when you get them back. So you get clean barrels back. Other companies in Wisconsin that get barrels back, they do basically the same thing. They use steam, clean your barrels out, they're good to go. So just different way of doing it, not right or wrong. Um, so if you wanna wait for your money, make a couple cents a month and, and get your money from out of state and take the risk of either getting it or not getting it or whatever happens there. Or you can bring it in and get a check when you deliver it. Take your money home, put it in the bank if you want, spend it, buy mama a Christmas gift, whatever you want to do. So you got to depend on, you know, how comfortable you are with it. So there's a couple ways of doing it. Um, we'll be out with prices, like I said, in a week or so, and we'll figure out where we're going to be at. So everybody can make their decisions. We still trade equipment for syrup. Um, you can put your syrup down on an order for an RO, whatever you want to do. Uh, we work with you. So, uh, just let us know if you have questions, feel free to call me, email me and that I'll be happy to talk to you about it. Uh, besides that, I don't have much right now. I'll be back in a week or so and get your pricing and see what happens from there. So everybody be safe out there.